Hello parents, my name is Franklin and I am from Raymond Math and Science Studio. In this video series, we will make math simpler for your child. By the end of this video, you will find a far superior alternative method to solving a fraction question. At RMSS, it is very common to see a typical P5 student solving a P6 question with ease and confidence using the RMSS box method. For this first video of our series, we will attempt a fraction problem sum using the conventional model drawing method and comparing it with a simpler and more efficient solving method, the RMSS box method. Without further ado, let's take a look at the challenges a student will face when attempting to draw and cut models using the traditional model drawing approach. Now let's take a look at the fraction problem sum. Jake spent a fraction of his money on a file, and he spent a fraction of the remaining money on a pen. He has $12 left. How much money did he have at first? From the first sentence, we'll use the denominator to draw seven boxes. How big or how small should the student draw? Will it be too small? Will it be too big? These are difficult choices that the student will have to make. And if the initial models are drawn wrongly, they will have to redraw the model after a significant amount of time has been spent solving the question. Now let's see how a student will draw the model. So seven boxes will represent the amount of money that Jake has. The numerator of five tells us that five boxes are used to buy the file. So let's label these five boxes as file and label the two remaining boxes as the remaining money. Now the next sentence tells us a fraction of the remaining money is used to buy the pen. However, the fraction tells us that the remaining money consists of five equal parts. But the remaining money in my model is only made up of two equal parts. How can we make two boxes become five or five boxes become two? This is very challenging for the student attempting this question as he or she is constantly erasing and redrawing the model as they struggle to find out how to make the two remaining boxes fit to become five equal remaining parts of the question. When they eventually figure out how the model should be cut, there's this daunting task of cutting up all the bigger boxes to equal slices. The struggle of choosing how big each box should be drawn, making the parts of the model to fit the fractional value of the question, and cutting each box into small slices, and eventually counting all the slices, just proves that the model drawing approach is very challenging and time-consuming. This is a very simple question, and yet it causes so many challenges for students. Can you imagine if the complexity of the question goes up? Now, let's take a look at the RMSS box method. The RMSS box method is a far superior solving strategy as compared to the conventional model drawing method. With the box method to solve the fraction problem sum, first we look at all the denominators in each fraction of the question. RMSS wants you to find a number that can be divided by all the denominators or you can just multiply the denominators together. So we take 7 times 5, that gives us 35. Now we will draw a vertical box and let 35 units represent the total money that Jake has. Deriving this 35 is perhaps the most complicated part of the question. For the rest of the question, I need you to follow instruction for the question, nothing more. Now we are going to cut the first part of the box and call it the file. We need not cut the specific size here unlike the model approach. Following the instruction from the English word in the question, we are going to write 5 over 7. The word OFF is the multiply sign and the money is the 35 units that we use to represent Jake's money. And we get the 25 units which is spent on the file. Let's put 25 units in the box that we have just cut. You see, simple, follow instructions. Now let's label the remaining money on the left side of the box. Since the total is 35 units and 25 units has been used for the file, the remaining money is 10 units. Let's cut the next part of the box and label it as the pen. The RMSS box method is very easy to see. And in RMSS, it is common for a P5 student to attempt a P6 question with ease. Again, just follow instructions. Using the English words again to help us write the number statement of the remaining money. That gives us six units which is used to buy the pen. That means the empty box below is the amount of money left. That gives us 4 units and following instruction from the questions, we know that the amount of money left is $12. So let's label these 4 units as left. 
Again, the size of the boxes here is not important. Students do not have to constantly erase and redraw the box as the box method focuses on the number in each box and not the size of them. As you can clearly see, four unit is $12. To find one unit, we take 12 divided by four to get the answer of $3. To solve the question, we need to know how much Jake has at first and we have to find what is 35 units. So we take $3 which is 1 unit and multiply it by 35 to find out what is 35 units. And that gives us $105 easily. I repeated the phrase follow instructions so many times in this video presentation because that is the beauty of the RMSS box method. The student does not need to think backwards or work from the back. The student now only need to follow instructions once the box method is set up. Simple and clear. All this is done without struggling to make parts of the model to fit the fractional description of the remainder and the student is not required to draw geometrically correct models to represent 35 equal parts. There is no need to erase and redraw countless times. That is what makes the box method so elegant and superior to the model drawing approach for solving fraction problem sums. Now that we have demonstrated the ease and simplicity of using the box method in comparison with the difficulty of using the model drawing approach, which method will you choose? Stay tuned for our next video where we will use the box method to solve a more advanced fraction problem sum.